Okay, so since Google Plus uh, has, has, has started to become a lot more of a phenomenon now, um, in including uh, really the, the, big, the big feature that's really pushing forward is the Google Plus Hangout events. Okay, so with this, um, there's been a few new features added, and, and some of them are really good uh, because some of them were quite a pain in the backside uh, when they first came out. But Google will you know, continually improve this. Um, so what we've got is you've got Google Plus Hangout events, and then and then you've also got uh, what we've developed for WordPress is a, a Yakadata Google Plus Events Hangouts plugin. It's the only plugin that pulls in uh, on Word, available on WordPress that pulls in events at this stage. Um, it is quite limited on what we can actually do at the moment, but as Google has just released this, the API code will get more robust and we'll be able to pull in more information. We'd like to pull in a lot more. We've written and uh, we've, we've spoken with Google about about this and um, they're, they're going to be forthcoming with quite a few new updates coming up soon. So anyway, let's let's go into this. So um, you'll, you'll go to your profile and then you'll click on events, okay? And then what you do is you click create an event. Now on this you can change the theme and you'll notice that there's a whole bunch of types of types of themes that you can have um, with this, but you can also you can also load from your own photos. I pull one from our old family album and, and then click on this one. And Google will basically there's my sisters and there's me. Fair while ago, yeah. Okay, so here we go, and then I can set the theme. It's a pretty, pretty blurry photo, but that doesn't matter. So what you can do is you can upload your own album of, uh, of photos uh, for headers. So you should really create an album under your, under your photos, create an album called headers, and make sure that the photos that you upload to it are at least 1,200 pixels wide, and then you can use any of those. Okay, so then what you'll do is you'll create an event title. And then what you do is, I always do this anyway, is show the additional fields, okay? Now, if you just want it to be a normal Hangout, you don't need to do either of these. Under the advanced thing, you can do a Google Plus Hangout, okay? And that event is online only, and it won't be recorded. But if you want to record the event, you'll click Make This Event On Air, okay? All right, now, the event title, anything will do. Okay, you can set an event date. Okay, and here it's got something. Uh, one of the one of the uh, the my next event uh, that's coming up. You can actually change the, the time zone as well. Okay, but we're not going to do that here. Um, you can set an end time. Okay, you can select the location. So you could write Euclid. Avenue, Miami Beach, okay, and that will actually put that in there. You don't even have to put your, your true address in. Um, you can put some details in, and I'm just going to grab some Laura Mipsum code. That'll loop, who cares. You can put a website URL. If you've got a ticket seller URL, put that in there. If you've got a, a video you'd like to have that will, will be part of the uh, event card, you can put the video in there. And you can also put some pet transit and parking information in. Okay? And then you can say whether it's public or you can have it uh, within, within one of your circles. Okay? Okay? So let's just make this one public. Okay. So, with the event options. You can you can put some whatever however information in and let's and let's uh, let's put another let's put a video in there. So I've put I've filled in these de details here, not that that's a real URL, um, and put a video in. So what I do is I I'm going to limit this because I don't want because this is just a fake one. Um, so I'm going to limit it to to this circle. I don't know who's in that, so someone's going to get an invite, but. Um, Okay, so then I can just click Invite. All right, and so there you'll see, so you, you can see that image is pretty blurry, but the video plays there. Okay, it's got all the information. 
And it's pretty cool what it can do. Now, once you've created the event, you can actually now do some extra things. You can add some photos to the event. You can share the event further. Or what you can do is you can duplicate the event, which you couldn't do before. Okay, but when you duplicate the event, you've got to put a new header up. It, it says that there's a header there, but when you go to save it, there's some sort of error in there, and it actually just goes back to one of the default headers. But by duplicating the event, you can change the time, date, any information you want. So it is all pretty cool. Okay. All right. So that's that's basically how how you create a, a, an event on. Uh, on, on uh, Google Plus. So now let's go and have a look at my WordPress plugin, okay? Not my WordPress plugin, my company's WordPress plugin, okay? So basically this, this, creates, uh, this, this creates an event. We've had seven updates so far. It's still in, in, in beta mode, if you, if you will. Um, we're testing it on probably about 30, about 30 different sites of ours, okay? Um, so what you basically do is you install it and then you have to configure it. Okay, um, and when you configure it, you there's there's instructions on how you get to uh, get to uh, put in all the code. There's actually a little bit of setting up to do, but once you set up, it's all fine. So let's go and get these uh, instructions. So basically, when you install the plugin uh, under the settings, this will be. Uh, this will be what you see, and you'll see all the different short codes you can use. You can have just the Google Plus events, or you can have a Hangout event. Uh, so you can use these short codes both in a page or a post, or also in a um, in in um, a, a widget. Okay. There's also we also provide a couple of different widgets that have a, quite a few different options. Um, so there's all the different keys you can put into the short codes as well. And we'll, we'll, we'll refine this and, and make it a little bit more robust as we go along as well. Okay, so um, what you'll need to do is you'll put your Gmail email address in. Uh, and when, once you go through these instructions, you'll put in an API key, a client ID, and a client secret, and away you go. And then you can actually configure the, the, a few of the different colors with the text and stuff like that. And this is how it actually looks. So it's fairly limited in the short code, and this, this basically allows all authors. Um, you can limit it to just you as the author. Okay, you can see that there's a bit of, bit of mucking around going on there, but you can see that uh, it pulls in quite a little bit. And then you can, you can see that we've changed some text there and the colors, but this one here has a countdown clock, this widget, countdown, countdown clock to the next event, and then you can click on it and view the events, okay? So it's all um, responsive as well. So it all responds to, to the browser, okay? Right down to, uh, right down to, the, to the mobile browser style. Okay, so now, um, once you've done that, you can set these on any posts or pages. You can even put them in your headers and things like that, okay? Um, that's pretty much the, the Google Plus events. And uh, if you have any questions, don't forget to uh, to write any comments on um, on uh, yakadanda.com under this uh, article. Okay, thank you for your time.